grab a bento after delivering this artifact to the museum. figure out the science homework. Well, that's why I'm here, little brother. Everyone at school knows, come to Mark if you need help. Okay, so how does a solar eclipse work? Oh yes, a solar eclipse. To best understand it, we should look at its significance to the universe as a whole. Ancient Egyptians considered it a sign from the heavens, but of course they were looking at it from a theological perspective and not from a scientific perspective. Oh, Oh, Hello, students. I'm Virtual Virgil, and I'm here to help. Isn't it amazing? He's the school's new electronic tutor. Yeah, Virtual Virgil can answer any questions about homework. But that's my job. It's great to be here in the library, or library, as you kids like to say. Any questions? I have one. How does a solar eclipse work? <gasps> A solar eclipse happens when the moon's orbit puts it directly between the Earth and the sun. When that happens, the bright disk of the sun is hidden by the dark silhouette of the moon. Who didn't know that? Glad you asked. Ancient cultures thought that eclipses occurred because a demon or dragon was eating the sun. They tried to scare these creatures away with loud noises, like this. I'm guessing it was pretty easy to get a seat at that concert. <laughs> He actually makes learning fun! Okay, Virgil, tell me how old the Earth is. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is over four and a half billion years old, give or take a century. I would hate to light all the candles on Earth's birthday cake. <laughs> if you're so smart, what's the largest volcano in the solar system? Easy. Olympus Mons on Mars is nearly 400 miles wide and it rises 16 miles. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> Give up, Mark. He knows everything about everything. I bet he doesn't know the surface temperature of Venus. Well, that would be 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And that would be the school bell. Greetings, spies. Sorry to interrupt your school day, but I have a situation that could use your particular expertise. You don't have to be a computer to figure that out. Last night in Tokyo, an ancient Asian artifact was stolen. Polka dot slippers? <laughs> Seriously? Quite. These 500-year-old slippers are one of a kind. You spies are to check the crime site for clues. I have a number of gadgets that should come in handy. The spider surveillance shooter is equipped with small homing devices. The Whoop Icicle Watch can turn any organic solid into an icicle. Cool! This prison bubble blower produces bubbles that are big and strong enough to trap a villain. And finally, Ultra Slippery Slime Toothpaste. Mmm, minty fresh! <laughs> now, are there any questions before you depart for Tokyo? Yeah, do you know the surface temperature on Venus? Of course. Fingerprints or footprints. Whoever stole the slippers knew how to evade detection. I'll patch into the school's computer to ask Virtual Virgil for help. Why? I can answer any question better than that phony. Okay, then. Tell me about the slippers we're looking for. Well, the design is probably based on the pattern of an ancient Shogun's beach parasol, which... Hey! I'm not finished! Yes, you are. Hey, Virgil. Based upon the picture you uploaded, I'd say those slippers once belonged to a powerful ninja. It would seem that even ancient ninjas enjoyed fashionable footwear. <laughs> <laughs> but who would want to steal them? 
A ninja, obviously. Ninjas are extinct, just like dinosaurs or unicorns. What are you talking about, Lee? Ninjas totally still exist. I'll believe it when I see one. Well, that's just it. Nobody ever sees a ninja. They're much too stealthy. Virgil? The slippers are one of three sacred ninja artifacts. One of the others is an urn filled with ninja dust. It's in a museum right here in town. Virtual Virgil, out. I think we need to head home and stake out the museum. Why? Just because that computer says we should? You have any better ideas? <sighs> and have such a nice personality, too. Gee, thanks. Oh, I didn't mean you. I was talking about Virtual Virgil. I'm having lunch with him tomorrow. I don't believe it. Me neither. There's a huge waiting list. I really lucked out. Everyone wants to hang with the Verge. This Warrior of Asia museum exhibit is pretty sweet. Check out the awesome weapons. But Virtual Virgil says that the ninja dust in that urn is more powerful than all of them. Give it up, dude! We've got you surrounded! Ha! Could've fooled me! Ooh. That almost broke the laws of physics! So, others to try stopping me? Ha! I laugh! The joke's gonna be on you when you're trapped in a giant bubble! You work on your aim, you need to! Ah! Tony! I'd use the jet boots, but it could damage these priceless artifacts. But this might work. I don't want to go down in history as the first human to be eaten by a dinosaur. I really should have thought this through. Need some protection, you kids are going to. Luckily, Virtual Virgil wasn't here to see this. Okay, I got you now! Or maybe not. No challenge for me this was! In my league, two kids are not! <laughs> it's time for my eight-legged buddy to go to work! Fly, arachnid, fly! Yes! <sighs> well, that could have gone better! Hey! A little help over here! The answers are 16, a garden rake, and Stonehenge. Oh, he's right. oh, Virgil's oh, awesome! He knows everything! <laughs> it was just a few days ago the kids were lined up to ask for my help. I'm washed up at 12. Hey, Mark, did you know that the Nile in Africa is the longest river in the world? Of course I know that. It's 4,160 miles long. <laughs> yeah, Virgil says that's a long way to swim just to see a camel. <laughs> oh, so now you're repeating his lame jokes? Oh, lighten up. Maybe Virgil can teach you something. It's true. I bet you didn't know the Nile flows through three different countries. Is that what Virgil said? Ha! He's wrong! I can prove it! Give it up, Einstein! Virtual Virgil is always right! No! The Nile flows through four countries, not three! <laughs> Couldn't you have waited a couple of minutes? I was about to put that brainiac wannabe Virgil in his place! What? Well, next time, I'll be sure to wait until that happens. But for now, you need to focus on the mission. Spies, I have some remarkable news. I can only conclude that it was a fully qualified ninja that stole the urn. Ninjas still exist? I don't know what to believe anymore. You can believe that you were wrong. Just like that digital fake Virtual Virgil. <coughs> When watching the security footage from the museum, it became obvious that you four aren't ready to battle a real ninja. So it's time for you to be trained in this semi-ancient art of... Whoop Jitsu! Jer, you look ninja-rific! Hmm... This will teach you to trust all of your senses. No! Oh. <laughs> 
Let's battle! There's no escape from my hands of fury! I'm over here! This exercise will build balance and agility. Observe. This is just the warm-up, right? <laughs> Here's the jump that won me a bronze medal back in Spy College. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what you had to do to win the gold medal. This is the Tenacious Tornado Kick, one of the most complicated moves in the Whoop Jitsu arsenal. Tell me you didn't just mess up my hair! It seems that it was chilly day in the Whoop cafeteria. But it would also seem that you spies have mastered Whoop Jitsu. <laughs> now, according to the spider tracker, the ninja is deep in the Feng Shui jungle. What do you think he's doing there? Ninja legend has it that the last artifact is hidden in a nearby temple. Please be careful, spies. There is nothing quite as dangerous as a ninja. the tracker, the ninja's down there. We're definitely getting closer. The signal's strong. The ninja should be right here. I know that ninjas are good at hiding, but this is ridiculous. Huh? The spider! It's supposed to be on the ninja. Your first mistake that was! <laughs> It's like a blinding fog. I can't see a thing. Too bad for you, that is. But I thought that we were ready to face the ninja. Wrong, your thoughts were. Because no match for my Gus Jitsu style, you are. Did you say Gus Jitsu? <laughs> Gus Jr.? No way! Way? You spies are worse than I remember. Did you really think that tracking device would work? Actually, I did. So what's the deal with the ninja parade? To use my ninja minions to take over the world, my goal is. Then rule it by force, will we? Ninja force! I wonder if we can rent them out for parties. One more ninja artifact is all I need! With their combined power, no stopping me there will be! Uh, do real ninjas talk like that to confuse their opponents? Because it's working! I think he's seen one too many martial arts movies! Experience the ultimate in ninja torture, you four will now! Whatever he just said, it doesn't sound good! Yeah. Uh, witness, you will! The dreaded drip of doom! You know, I expected worse. It's actually kind of relaxing. Like a spa treatment. See, we shall. Ninja Force, depart! Come on, please! Make it stop! I can't take it! It's been dripping for hours! Actually, it's only been two minutes. Wait! The icicle watch! It's time to freeze our way out of here! I bet Virgil doesn't know that ice is the name given to any one of the 15 known crystalline solid phases of water! Ha! 
Mark, can you stop thinking about your computer feud and escape already? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. That had to be done. Agreed. Now, let's stop Gus Ninja Poser Jr. from getting that last artifact. Yeah! are flying away from something. I think we found our ninja. You managed to escape? Impressive, but too late you are. For mine, the three precious relics are the slippers, the urn of ninja dust, and the ninja ukulele. Since when do ninjas play the ukulele? <sighs> How dare you stereotype ninjas! Get them! Minions, you will! Let's see how slippery this toothpaste really is. <laughs> Never send it orange belts to do a black belt job. Oh, my ninja slippers now feel the power! Ah! Ooh, ninja slippers! I'm shaking! Shaking you will be! Those are super stomp slippers! Guys, remember our whoop jitsu training! Practice that move we should have! Hey, Junior! We've got a little gift for you! Don't you just hate when that happens? Lucky shot it was, that's all. But make sure that never happens again, my ninja dust will. Wah! <laughs> ha! Ha! Woohoo! I thought ninjas were supposed to be quiet. Oh, yeah? I can sense him. Look what I found. Ninja! What did he do with a ukulele? Play a lame song around a campfire? Lame! This is not! You have to admit, that ninja plays a mean ukulele! Going to call this song Ninja's Rule Spice Drool, I am! Megan, I know the song is catchy, but this is no time to dance! But it's a perfect time for the tenacious tornado kick! <laughs> Got! Is that all you have? Hmm? It's about time for the remix! There won't be an encore. Over this isn't! Whoa! Your Gus Jitsu was strong, but our Whoop Jitsu cannot be beat. Even my own family doesn't need my help anymore. Hey, Virgil, do any rocks float in water? That's a good one. Rocks don't float. Put them in water, and they all go kerplunk. <gasps> Busted! You're wrong! That's illogical. Virtual Virgil never makes a mistake. Oh, really? Then how come you didn't know about pumice? It's a volcanic rock that floats in water. Say it ain't so, Virgil. No, I mean, I knew that. I just figured you didn't know what pumice was. Yeah, that's it. A likely excuse. If you're so smart, what's the hottest color in a plane? Red or blue? It's blue. 
Correct. Nice one. Your turn, Mark. Virgil, if actions are stronger than words, then why is the pen mightier than the sword? Hmm? That's not a real question. I'm not programmed for philosophical queries. My motherboard is starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm back, baby. There's only room for one know-it-all in this school. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of poses. <laughs> homework help. Get your homework help here. It's good to see Mark happy again. But what about me? I was supposed to...